Perhaps one of the most famous presidential legends is the one concerning Teddy Roosevelt and whether the teddy bear is really named after him. Is it? It certainly is. It turns out that this legend originated in my home state, Mississippi, in a place called Onward, when in 1902, President Roosevelt went on a hunt. So what can you tell us about the Mississippi bear hunt in 1902? It was a wonderful time. We came down to the Delta country of Mississippi. Roosevelt was having no success, so his guide, Hulk Collier, tried to capture a bear for him to shoot. And Holt's hand reaches up skyward. He has a bear on the end of the rope. And he tugs it up onto the shore and says, Mr. President, you're a bear. So, of course, I took off my hat, put it at my side, addressed Holt, and said, Holt, I cannot take this bear. And wouldn't you know we had a journalist along? According to the Theodore Roosevelt Association, this journalist was actually a cartoonist and published this cartoon in a newspaper. It was seen by a man named Morris Mitchum. He was a confectioner and a toy maker in New York City. He wrote a letter to the White House and asked if he could have permission to create a stuffed toy bear. I didn't think anything, of course, would come of it. And wouldn't you know he took that bully little idea, created small stuffed bears, and within two years we were giving them away at my re-election in 1904, and within four more years it became the most famous bear in all of the world. And Mississippi is mighty proud of its connection to Teddy Roosevelt and teddy bears. Every year, Rolling Fork, Mississippi hosts the Great Delta Bear Affair, an event honoring the hunt. Not only is this a fun, light-hearted way to honor Theodore Roosevelt, but it is also an opportunity to remember a great conservationist and educate the public about protecting and maintaining the dwindling bear population in Mississippi. And that is the true story, not the tall tale, but the true story of the teddy bear hunt.